There are currently six factions in X Defiant, but it's very clear that one stands out among the rest, and it might not be the faction that you think it is. Hey guys, Nightfall here, and I'm going to rank all of the factions currently in the game from worst to best. Some of these were easier than others to rank, and others are very close, but definitely stick around because number one may surprise you. Before we jump into the rankings, yesterday was a pretty big day for this channel if you hadn't noticed. Not only did we get approved to join the YouTube Partner Program, but we also surpassed a thousand subscribers. I could not have done any of this without all of you watching, so I just wanted to take a moment and show a big thanks to everyone. With that being said, I do want to do something special for a thousand subscriber video or something, and I have some ideas on what I want to do, but if you have any suggestions or ideas on what we could do, I'd love to hear them in the comments. But let's go ahead and get into these rankings. Coming in at number six on my list and taking home the title of worst faction overall by far in the game right now is the GS Commando. While being the newest faction, they're definitely not the shiniest. The siege hype that came with them died down pretty quick. And if it wasn't for the ADS ability they have, this would have been a lot easier to put them at six. Their passive hard hat, which reduces headshot damage, sounded very good and almost broken at reveal. But in the actual game, you hardly ever notice it at all. And if it wasn't for the sound that it makes when you're hitting it, you probably wouldn't ever notice it. The shock wire is easily destroyable with literally any sort of grenade or explosive or a simple melee. And the only reason it's decent right now is because on some surfaces, you just can't break it with a punch at certain angles. So it can be tricky to deal with places like zoo on the staircase leading down to zone a, for example, overall, just a lackluster faction. Don't see very many of them in games. And I'd be interested in seeing faction pick rates for this game. At number five, we have one that might shock some of you, the Echelon faction. I know, I know, settle down. This faction used to be top tier, maybe number two. That is until everyone complained and got it nerfed. Now the Intel suit barely provides any Intel. The ghillie suit is the most noticeable thing you can see it coming from a mile away. And it's so loud, the whole lobby can hear when you activate it. Same with the sonar goggles. It's so easy to just avoid the person using it for 10 seconds or whatever the time is. And the passive trait low profile is basically useless because no one really uses the minimap. This used to be my main faction until recently when I realized it was becoming more and more useless each day. Number four was pretty easy to place as well, and it's going to be Libertad. Now, hear me out. They're a very good faction if used correctly, and that's the key here used correctly. Most times, people that are using them are the most selfish players I've ever seen in these types of games. Libertad feels like it should be higher than four, but honestly, the only reason they beat out Echelon for the number four spot was because of all the nerfs they got recently and also because the ultra for Libertad is sort of broken. It's basically an ultra for the whole team and taking anyone down inside of it is near impossible to do on your own. I'd rather see a Phantom Ultra pop up. Up next at number three, we have the Cleaners. This is where it starts to get tough. I'm putting Cleaners at three because they're very easily way more overpowered and overpicked over the previous three I had just mentioned. The passive alone is better than some other factions abilities and when paired with the right weapons can act as a free heavy barrel. Not to mention, Cleaners might be one of the only two factions currently in the game that I'd have a hard time deciding between the two abilities. The firebomb is so good, it's almost like a splash melee effect that when you're being surrounded, you just kind of hit that and take some people with you. And the incinerator drone is even more broken because it explodes right at the end of the path, making it almost impossible to dodge. Sure, you might be able to get away with some burnt clothing, but you're going to take some damage. Then their ultra is just ridiculous. Not sure who thought that the range on that thing was OK, but it's not. And until they do something about it, Cleaners is always going to stay towards the top half of the factions. Before I tell you my number two and by default spoil the number one faction in the game, I want to debut our channel memberships. These are new with the acceptance into the YouTube partner program from yesterday, and I made them as low as they could go. 
With it, you do get a few cool emotes that can lead to more once we have more members. And then you also get a few other perks, including a special role in my Discord, which, by the way, you should probably join that. Definitely not something I expect anyone to do, but it's there as an option, just as the Super Thanks button is as well. And the more members we get, the more things we can do on this channel, and maybe even make more tiers, give higher tier members more perks. The possibilities are endless. But let's jump back into the rankings. This next faction is probably the one most people correlate with being number one in the game at the moment, just out of the sheer pick rate in both ranked and unranked. But they aren't, and I'll explain why when we talk more about number one, but number two is the Phantom faction. Right off the bat, they have a huge upside from their passive, giving you 20 extra health. And honestly, if they didn't have any other abilities and this was just it, they might still be number two. But adding the mag barrier they can throw down is basically portable cover you can toss down anywhere. And it makes facing a phantom 1v1 very difficult. Most people don't even use the blitz shield they have as their other ability, and why should they when you have a wall you can shoot through? I'm sure I'll get a lot of heat for putting phantoms at 2 and not number 1, but hear me out, and if you still disagree after this, let me know in the comments. If you haven't guessed it already, number 1, the best faction in X Defiant right now, has to be DeadSec, hands down, no questions asked. Most people will use DeadSec and just spam spider bots and think it's the best ability in the game. Well, I have news for you. If you're not using the hijack ability when you pick DeadSec, of course you probably don't think they're going to be number one. Anything you come up against, you can counter with DeadSec. Oh, is that a phantom shield? Yeah, you mean your shield? Libertad's health canister? Oh, you mean your team's health canister. And if you time it right, the cleaner's fire drone can be yours too. And then if you carry an EMP with you, anything else they decide that they want to try to use against you becomes null and void. There is no argument you can make against using DeadSec with Hijack. You just can't. Even another DeadSec with Spiderbot is just going to be in for a surprise when the Spiderbot they just deployed is now clawing away at their own face. Even the DeadSec Ultra is menacing to think about. Most players just pop their ultra as soon as they get it, but as an echelon player and having gone through this several times, I've had to sit there and do math and make sure that I wasn't about to activate my ultra only to have it canceled as soon as I activate it by the DeadSec ultra. And having one of these in ranked is crucial. Being able to take down any Phantom's ultra bubble when they thought they were going to make that last 30 second push and cap that last zone could be that last second defensive stop that you need. But that about does it for my rankings. If you disagree, then that's totally fine. Just let me know in the comments who you think should be number one, or if you want, just re-rank them all. I think one thing is very clear and that everybody could probably agree on, and that's that the GS Commando is still at the bottom of everyone's list. And I honestly don't think that any amount of buffs that you give that faction or nerfs that you give other factions will ever change that. But if you made it all the way to the end of this video, Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out some of my other content and I'll catch you in the next one.